Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our Legendary Jungdown campaign. We'll pick things up for episode 25 from turn 90 in the summer season of 212. So this is a turn where we are going to launch our war against the Kingdom of Song, who has a few vassals. No surprise, it is, you know, Yuan Shao's faction. And if we take a look at who he has, he has quite a few, including Wang Long, who's paying us right now. Um... This is going to be slightly awkward depending on how we do this. You know what? It doesn't have to be awkward. We're currently paying them for some land. We can easily use a mercenary contract to bypass some of this. But first things first, we can declare war against the vassal. And see if he will come to his vassal's defense. Just a regular war is fine. Wang Long hates it, all the other vassals hates it. Yuan Shao hates it. Let's see if Yuan Shao defends him. Okay, he does. So this dragged everyone into the war. Interesting. Well, good for him. Much more honorable than I gave him credit for. And of course, our vassals join in as well. So, the war with Long Long is something I didn't foresee. That might be a little bit awkward, but we do have a spare army down here. You know, Tiling is really no stranger to these areas, so he can come back and. Uh, just keep them at bay. I don't actually need to beat him down. Um, we are going to beat them down. Crushing defeat, really. Alright, let's see about that. Alrighty, we're loaded up in here. I like how, you know, the game decided to give us a very bad delegate value here, given that this is one of our best armies. Um, this is a... I guess that side would be where we want to go. We want to find a straight edge here on the corner. So this would do. Um, the tree's a little bit sparse here, but it should be okay. It might cause some issues with where we want to shoot our shots, but overall I think this is probably the best place. Yeah, I'm kind of worried we might be burning ourselves. Alright, this is probably the best we can do. It's a little bit off-center because we want to crush that too. Uh, fire arrows is another option. Ooh, stealth fire arrows, right? It technically shouldn't be able to see us, so we could do this, actually. We can save some more shots for the inside, perhaps. They also have stealth fire arrows. Great. Hmm. Actually, what do we want to do with our infantry? You know what? We're not going to spread them out. We'll face them. We'll show them the disrespect. Start here. Shoot that down. 29%. Two volleys good. Yeah, two volleys great. Move back. Actually, why don't they just take care of all of this and we save all our ammo for the walls and the units. Yeah, we have eight more shot. We can take down, you know, the entire side if we want, but we don't need to do that. One shot. Ah, one volley. Easy. Okay, I guess we can focus our tributaries against the units on the wall and inside. They do have... Dragons. 
Okay, maybe that's part of the reason why we delegated poorly. Maybe. I don't think so, but... It's probably because, you know, hidden axes don't delegate very well, and cavalry don't delegate very well in sieges either. That's probably enough. Yep. We probably only needed one volley then. I guess we, we, we checked it maybe during like half a volley. You know, I just thought we needed a second full volley. Overdid it. Uh, actually, why don't you go crush that one too? Since we do have so many shots to spare. So what do we want to do with these guys now? I know it's more efficient to use these against the walls, but in case a few shot misses and hit the town, I'm still going to use the fire. Because I know we're probably going to miss a few shots. Yeah, and that way we can spread some fire already while we destroy the walls. We're actually, our first shot like that. And once the fire... I don't know, is it starting? No, not yet. Keep going. Fifty-eight percent. There we go. Not bad. And now we can go to regular shots and crack this in one go. And these are archers. Okay. Once we get a hole, our daughter can go challenge people like Tai Mao to a fight. Yep. Perfect. Back off. Ooh, knocked us off. Time off still level one. That's very sad. We have plenty of time to continue the siege. We'll just watch the duel for a little bit. I mean, we're much stronger. Attack speed went up 40%. Uh, we switched armor, so we don't lose any of the stats. Ooh, he has a silver gear. It'd be a nice challenge. The fire is ready going. Oh, is he gonna leave his horse there? Oh, oh the routing. He has routed himself right into the wall. And uh, we're also stuck here. So we're stuck. We can't pass through walls. We're not officially fighting, are we? We're not. This, this is bugged. We have to run away eventually. Hmm. That's very unfortunate. There's nothing we can do about that. Yeah, there's nothing I can do about that. I guess we just keep crushing walls then? Create an opening for our troops to come in? She's standing right here. I can maybe interrupt a duel. That might solve it. 
But right now they're just staring at each other across this indestructible piece that I can't do anything about. Alright, Dad, help us out a little. Okay. There's usually an interrupt button. We go towards the duel. Maybe if we bump him out. Could be a possibility where we can do that. Hmm. Yeah, it's routing him to this exact same wall. I can't do much there. Maybe if I fight uh, the gate, because we don't own the gate. That's why, because we don't own the gate. So if we want to fight, we can't go this way. They can try to come out at me. Like, I can stand here. And they would probably charge at me, and I can probably get into the fight through the gate, even though I don't own the gate. Yeah? Okay. See, we're gonna run that way now again. Hmm. I can maybe go here. Let's play the best I can do for my daughter. Yeah, they're, they're stabbing me now. Okay, we can fight back. That's good. Oh, cooldown locked. Okay, that's fine. We don't need it. Yeah, we, we don't need it. Alright, does this count as us fighting our way in? Don't leave. Actually, no, chase. You can chase. It'd be chase, yeah. Oh, they're not getting back up. Okay. Oh, we're in. Okay, good. Get him. That's right. You better run. Oh. Very annoying. Yeah, I have faster attack rate if I'm not on my horse. You're dead. Your protector is gone, by the way. You guys might want to get out. Yeah. This is still going to be an interrupt in the end. We're going to have to run away. Ooh, cavalry. please because we switched the ammo type so they got to reload the whole thing no on uh, no angle fine we both got this anyways we are losing health we're getting chunked because we, we are losing all our like we're losing chunks of our evasion as we fight Just routed. We're going up. Oh. Mm 
Ooh, Pearl Dragons. It's the fanciest thing we fought all game. They're done. Alright, get on the wall. We almost have no health. But against archers, we should be fine. Yeah, even they know that. Oh, he lived. They're retreating. I don't know. This is a tough situation. Hmm. Oh, we're down here now. I'll give you a chance. I only have 3.9k health. You might beat me. We said might. That's what you get for bugging out our daughter. Thank you for the heal. We'll be leaving now. Oh. 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 That's, that's a little awkward. Because the horse is no longer there, the door closed on us. Fine. They want us to kill the wall, we'll kill the wall. They don't have much left. Like, maybe we need to destroy this area, but maybe one shot is just good enough. Hello, boys. Swing it. There we go. Why don't we just kill, kill the ones behind, you know? There's, there's a bunch behind. Who are you fixated on? This poor guy? What did he do to you? There we go. Yeah, just swing at whoever's next to us. That's good enough. Don't chase down. Stay up here.
Swing? Don't be shy. He can't find a single target. They're all running around. There we go. Alright, there we go. How about you just 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 come here? Just come here. Nice formation you have there. Can I sneak up behind me? Make sure I kill them first if you want. I get past that wall. Yeah, this is like, you know, Death Raider in Rogue One, at the very end of Rogue One. Narrow corridor. Ooh, you guys are fighting back. Brave. Alright, they're completely routed. He got, a, he got an attack in though. Oh. Anyone else? This guy's like, let me go. I'm on the routed group. I'm in the routed group. Single file, single file. Arrows pointed at him. Maybe he won't come to us. Pretend we're doing something else. He missed. He missed. He missed again. Oh no. Alright, they're done. Well, Li Bu's tired, you know. It's been it's been a lot of fighting for him. Still wanted to soften this spot up. Get over here, not so close. Our, our range unit's coming up. You guys need to die now. Wrong corner. It's fine. Kill the guy with the flag. Poor guys. Anyone else still on the wall? No, we got the wall taken care of. I think it's over. Yeah, it's over. The invisible arrows has started. There we go.
Ooh, Alright, it's a little bit unfortunate Luzi couldn't get the duel set in, but um, it's fine. This is the guy. It's not his fault, you know. He bugged out into a wall as well. I want him because I want both items. So. Tai Mao, you, you live long enough. What to do with this commander, though? Okay, we can recruit someone new. Play just generic character. Level 10 Lu Bu, the Dragon Gates. Okay. And the last skill. He, he already has Scare. Fatigue Resistance. Hmm. Just want to give himself some boost here. Alright, there's still this. So, Xingdu originally I wanted to trade it to Wang Lang, but you can see that because he's a vassal and a good vassal uh, who has joined his master in war, we can't do that. So, I don't know, we'll temporarily break our rule for a little bit. We'll trade it away eventually. Wait, do we also have war with us? Why? You're also a vassal? Oh, I didn't know that. Hmm. Huh. This is a little bit awkward. I can. I mean, I can make a big vassal here, give give both land and buy it back. It's not a big deal. I think that's what we'll probably end up doing. Just make our own vassals. It seems to be the most dependable way. Now that you know, you actually already vassalized most of them. All right, so we got this upkeep for shock cavalry decrease, which is what we wanted to see. We want speed, but I also want more upkeep discount if we can. This one, two turns. It's going to be a bunch of one turn ones, right? Let's just do that. We can try to grab some of these one turn ones that are just spear infantry. All our protector of heavens will be cheaper. Let's get that first. All right, we mentioned how he had a nice armor, so take a look. It's a silver one. We have one of these uh, to spare, but I guess we could use another. And we also recruited a few new characters. I guess you're staying. This is the character we spawned from the event, Liu Chao, just a random one. Maybe I'll give him the land. Maybe he spawned here, so we, we make him the, you know, eventual vassal here in Xingdu. We can do that. Yeah, I think that's what we probably end up doing. Alright, so we have to crush both of them. No big deal. He was paying us money. I think he still pays us even if he go to war with us. Or is that not true? Ah, it's no longer true. Guess he dies, and we'll kill. We'll, we'll keep Danyang. Danyang's good. Huh. Okay. Not going exactly perfect, but no need to rush up. We don't know how many we're dealing with. Actually, you guys can bait them a little. Also, since no one here, oh, we can't. Oh, we need, we should have swapped to uh, some siege weapons, because or else no one can siege here, which is rather awkward. All right, I think we done our part. Now, the leader is our spy. As you can see, he's going to war with us because that's what we did. So we're gonna have to end him. 
Because we're in the same zone. We're in. We have to fight them. Who has the highest level? Oh, they're the same. Does he have patience? No. Jashu might have patience. Yep, he does. So he gets to start the fight. And we can make the leader fight their own faction as reinforcement. <laughs> oh, oh, this is priceless. Um, Zhang Quan, Tai Qinfang. I mean, we're gonna delegate this one. It's not worth seeing. But we got the leader to flip. Usually, you can't extract him because he becomes a leader on the spy menu. But because this is different, I think the game didn't patch this through. So you can actually flip the leader to join you on the battlefield. That is something here. You might be his wife, for all I know. It doesn't sit here, but I'm gonna just employ you just in case. Well, Gong Sun Kang has returned to us from Gong Sun Kang's faction. Uh, I'm gonna take away all your items, and the reason is I'm gonna actually give the land back to him. They betrayed. <laughs> it went to Duan Wei. So uh, what we'll do is we'll take Lao Xi and then we'll make him the you know the new administrator here, and then we'll give him we'll give him the land back. Yeah, that's that's what we will do. He'll become our vassal. So this is an interesting way of getting uh, the spy to become our vassal. It's a level three, so there's actually no walls. We can just oh wait wait one of them to do it. That's very doable. Okay, so now they can all merge back. Not you. Hmm, some more trade influence. You. Uh, I'm not going to summon him back, because if I summon him back, you'll go on cooldown. What we will do is we'll have to fire one of these boys and girls here. Yeah, you can be removed. It's fine. Yeah, totally fine. It's still your land. You didn't betray anyone. Although I kind of want to use you to spawn a wife. For us to keep tabs on you. He is married. Not anymore. And you, follow the rules too. There he is. Yao Si. Yi Rou Ke Gang. Gan Shou Yi Xia Cang Sheng De Yi Zhi. Alright, and if these guys want to fight us, we're down. Kind of want that to keep for ourselves, but I guess we'll go this way. Toolmaker's good, trade port's good, we'll keep both of those. And then we'll start taking his land. Okay, so that's done. We have an opening spot, so that means we can put 
this business out of the way. We'll, re we'll respect our own rule, you know. We said if we can't put an administrator there, we'll give it up. We'll do that. So you did get spawned here through event, so you do get to keep this whole place. But I think I want the counties back, maybe. It depends. It depends. I mean, we don't really miss the food, Matons. Food trade is over. The Lumberyard's probably the better one here. Oh, he can also be a trade partner. Yeah, that's good. Um, take cash. Five thousand. Didn't mean to give him that much. Okay, and give us the lumberyard back. That's good. We'll let him keep the fishing port. Because the fishing port for us is only, you know, 15%. It's only research rate. Because it's. and food. This actually has some discount to upkeep for range unit, which is good. So I think we'll keep that one. Alright, so vassals made there. We will find another. Who's, who's missing the... Xiangyang. Right, we'll find someone there soon. We might leave it open for now because we're still going to expand for a little bit. Right, this war means his army is actually exposed to us. This is free. Hmm. See, we're trying to shy away from taking cities. He peaced out with Sun Tse. That's not good. Because we are expanding west, so we'll meet Han Sui's forces soon. I'm trying to just basically make one of them not go to war with us while we are fighting Yuan Shao. Like, it can be Sun Ce, it can be... But there's like no one I can really... I guess against the old Tavern Rebels and we just fight them here to sustain the points. Yeah, that will free up a lot of our armies. They no longer need to look at him. This is 20 turns, correct? So if I can get him to pay me 250, we're even, but that's not gonna happen. Um, we already have so many deals. We'll take this. Wang Wang likes this. Liu Bei likes this. We don't have to make you kill your brother to thank us. But they don't need to be here anymore. They don't need to be here anymore. Do we want to go attack Trishin? No, we don't. What we want them to do is go attack Wang Long. Right here in Nanhai. 
Trespassing is fine. They will stay guarding the capital. They also no longer to be in the staring contest here. Surprisingly, they didn't join the war. You go guard the other capital. You're gonna attack Wu Zhu. Well, you're gonna have to ambush them for them to fall into the trap. They're gonna just run if we go chase them. Smiley is pretty good at ambushing. Can't lie about that. So they're fine. And we're gonna get into the water. I have much more movement than you. We'll probably land here. Oh, because they didn't go on march. Right. They're going to start landing over here. They'll take care of the south coast. We were asking them to turn back, but now it feels like they don't need to. Go help Sima Yi out. Jia Kui going to help Sima Yi. I think this is a fitting historical nod. You also don't need to hover here anymore. It's like they don't need to hover here anymore. They gotta go attack them. Well, we can go slowly here. There's no rush. We don't need this many army down south, though. Let's go here. Go to go away. Okay, ambush is set. This army. What to do about Yuan Shao himself? We're not equipped to take a level 7 military infrastructure building with Yuan Shao in it. That's suicidal. But he's also not equipped to take care of us in an ambush outside of our livestock farm with a full stack. So yeah, let's see what he does. Maybe he gets greedy, overpresses. Capital defense? Yep. Okay. But we have insane amount of food again. Probably means we should go find ourselves a request tribute. Maybe for one, the southern tribe. It's nice that they haven't confederated each other. More target for us. I could have sworn there was one that was waiting for a conversion. Ah, Anping. Okay, I guess we gotta wait till next turn. Ooh, another trade route available. Should see it for silk. I mean, it's a losing money proposition, I understand, but not bad idea. Lock him down in a favorable trade deal so that he doesn't go to war with us. I don't have energy to take care of him. Really? 20,000? 20, 20, Oh wait, wait, we're ready? We're ready? I keep looking at the negative seven thinking I need to add more, but it's ready maxed. So Yeah, this is fine. And then some per turn payments thrown in here. That works. Sixteen points on Queen Juro.
Well, Mato, I haven't had enough. Alright. Please have a lot of economy. Hmm. Not close. Okay, so that's not possible. That's fine. We still have... This is gonna have to wait. I think all the armies have moved. So just a quick check of spies. Total might get killed. Don't care about any of these. Ah, Taltal's dead. So our Taljump is going to become the leader of Taltal's clan. And the amount of authority in this faction just went way downhill. Way downhill. So yeah, 0 points, 15 points. Death of a friend. Oh, Guojia. There's only minus 20 going on. Uh, I guess we need the interference. Negative 60. Yeah, I don't know if there's anything he can do for me. Might disown him. But there's no new available spies. Which is a bit sad. Right, I think we're good. Let's continue. Uh, mainly want to see if Yanshaw want to fall into this trap here. He did not, by the way, but this trap did kind of work. Uh, Sumai uh, trapping Ma Matia's uh, army here. Zhao Du, I want to recruit. Um, let's see if we can just get him. It's decisive anyways. Alright, capture and be willing to work for me, please. Ah, we got him. Tiang units, uh, you can just be released. And the yellow turbans are attacking us, which is great. Um, our vassal is asking us to help them fight the yellow turbans. We will, because we also have a contract against them. He doesn't have items. We don't want him to wipe out the vassal that we just created. No fame and fortune? I guess we have to be the one attacking to get Frame of Fortune. It shouldn't be sky high. I think we're inheriting the bar that we got from our last uh, contract. It's still a little bit buggy. Alright, uh, what else is one turn that's useful for us? We got this. Charge for Spear, damage for Spear. Yeah, take that. Morale, damage, increased rank, all good stuff. The Yanshaw didn't take it. They went to go siege our poor uh, Wei Yan down here. Even if we march, we can't save him. It's a three army hold. I could just recall them. That'd be the safest maneuver. No risk. There's no night battle in this army. So that's a big problem. Although, although, who's the administrator? Who's the not not administrator? Ah, oh, he's a bandit character. So there's no, no there's no night battle on him. There's no night battle on her. There's no night battle on him. Mm. Or else I can make one of the uh, administrator and then just pump the level so that he can get night battle. But that doesn't seem to be the case. So we might just be recalling them. All right, we don't want to lose. They took that. Wonderful. Uh, we don't want to lose our new vassal, so we're going to crush you guys. Alright, 
Alright, we'll be taking these for ourselves. So the repair is not going to be finished. Right, uh, back to this point. Basically, he can't reinforce in time. Alright, wait, I don't want to risk your life. Not against three armies. <laughs> Let me think about this. We do have... Oh, we don't even have a decent stack because we have the Han stack. It's open field against the three waves of enemies. Yeah, I don't think it's doable. Get out. They're on cooldown, but we have other people. We have the Cheng units. Where's Zhao Du? Ooh, Ling Cao. He's in our recruitment pool. A lot of family members. I mean, Ling Tong's not in the game. He's in the game, but he's not in our faction, so I don't know who he, where he is. Oh, we also got him recently. But we need strategies here. You. Um. Shunu Cataphrac? Liangkong? Well, he's old. When he dies, he can pass it on. I'll use their replenishment to bait them over. They'll take this first, and then some of them will filter up, and then Wei Yang can come back over here as well. It's going to be a lot of fighting over here. Meanwhile. We land. There we go. Ah, Huang Zhong lives to actually fight. Um, this is stack here. A little bit concerning, but we should be fine. Ah, uh, the Tiankai Separatist is also in front of us. Alright, so it should be a fun fight during the end turn, perhaps. Not too concerned with the casualties, because we do have two stacks in one place. I mean, even if they have night battle... Mm, we don't know her to know that, but... I think we'll be okay. Okay. We're getting the surround around the capital. Uh, lost a little pressure here, but that's probably expected. More are coming on the way. He's finally returning home, perhaps. I don't know if there's any enemies. Yes, there is. Once again. Nice little ambush would does it. Ooh. Well, Si Yu leveled up. Here, listen to a Confucian sage, you know, be educated among the ways of classical filial piety and how, you know, Confucianism. Meanwhile, the army needs to... I want you to just go west. I know he can probably get through the mountains here, but that'd be redundant. That means army. We're selling down. Our job is to take... Danyang. He's not even healing. He has no food. 
That's why. Ah, uh, well. What happened to Wang Lang's army? Oh, they're still sitting put. Okay. Well, your chance of hitting us is over. Our army's here for take care of these two. We have another army down here to take care of these two. Capital defense. And they're trying to be capital defense too. I hope they lose it, but I doubt it. Are you going to be able to make it to join up with Sima Yi? He's trying. Okay, those are all done. Any new developments? Hmm, Cao Cao's death had less effect than I... Oh, well, I guess we could extract him. Hold on. Did he take Cao Cao's items since he is now the faction leader? Because if that's the case, I want him back. No, he's not there. Where is he? I thought he had a single army out here by himself. I don't see it anymore. He has his dad's horse. What happened to the sword? We can get the Shadow Runner by taking him in. But what happened to the horse? Ah, uh, Lady Ben's now heir. I don't think he's ever going to betray them. What's that though? Hmm. Guess that's a no. We'll save up some points to do some faction wide drops. Oh, brother. Did not expect you to come join us. Yeah, I don't think he was he done it to himself yet. Yep, he can do it to himself. Well, that's not willing to turn, I think, which is going to be a bit sad. We're not going to be able to get him. So basically, every single one of Cao sons has flipped and turned to our side. I think so. Cao Ong, Cao, not, not Cao Pi. Cao Pi got killed before he had a chance. Uh, Cao Zhi, you know, Cao Ong, Cao Zhang. They're all going to eventually join our faction. <laughs> Uh, wrong click, wrong click. I want to see, um, I want to see Cao Ang's items. Right, he doesn't have the sword because he can't equip the sword, which means the sword is being held by Lady Bian. Right, because she he's a champion. That's only why. He, that's the only reason why he didn't have trust trust of God. Ooh, I don't know. We can't. I I doubt we can get Lady Bian though. Seventy seven. She can drop to forty seven, and then a couple more. We'll try. I, th I think I think there's a, there's a chance. We might as well try it. Uh, nothing interesting here. Wow, office revoked. Ouch. You can't get him. Can't get him. Uh, there's not much to do here. Make me administrator. Alright, I think that's it. I guess we, I mean, we got Cao Cao's sons, so that's something new. Let's continue. Oh, Tian Kai Separatist came to attack us by herself. It's a suicide move, because she has no land. 
Okay. We'll heal up during the end turn. We're both on share of the spoils. The infamy donation. Okay, we lost MP without a siege. It was not prompt because there's no retinue there for some reason. Uh, second turn of um, you know attrition killed them all. So that's that. Not useful. Did he get Tong became Grand Director? Okay, that's fine. Some new items. But yeah, um, we are going to continue to expand west. Armies are moving. Uh, not very much resistance anywhere, to be honest. Uh, this is the only place that put up a fight, but we have two stacks and a third stack coming. And we'll have these two stacks in ambush with the third stack gets replenished to draw them in, and then we'll wipe them out and uh, make the counter push, right? One, three armies, take this, spread one, two, three. Uh, Southern friends already covered by two armies, so they will take both of these. Uh, we're closing in on Wuhai and Guangyang. They're closing in on Yo, uh, Ping and uh, Liao Xi. They're starting to get their own army, so maybe they'll survive the Yellow Turban attacks. I don't know if they have any items. They probably do, so we'll probably turn around here. This army is probably just going to be here hunting items for us. Um, they're probably going to be the one closing on the capital. We have no rush in actually taking the capital. Uh, it will not give us the win until we have 95. So that's the magic number we're working towards. We're still at 61 here uh, because we created a new vassal. So we actually gained some land, but we actually traded away a few more. Uh, 10 pieces of vassal land so far. No, 11. 11 pieces of vassal land so far. So that's 72. Uh, 7 pieces of subject. 79. 16 away. If we just count up Yuan Shao's land, 16, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and then we're going to gain these two as well, 12, 13, so that's 13 right there, so we need three more over here, maybe, you know, Silk, Gate, Silk, and that's enough, and that would be the win, so we're probably one or two episodes away, uh, we're also taking some of the stuff down here, so there's more than enough land for us, we don't need to worry about that. Uh, we just need to get to the capital and win the game. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. See you guys next time. Bye!